almost straight up. Okay, now dump the egg into the bowl. There you go, good job. Welcome back to the channel. Ransom and I are out here by the quill and the rabbit hutches. And we have a little bit different kind of video for you today. So, uh, as you know, if you've watched our channel for very long, um, over in this pen, we have been raising quail that we got uh, when they were one day old. And then over here in this hutch, we got from our friend, at, from our friend Dutch over at Keeping It Dutch. And so um, we've butchered some. And now we're trying to find out who is laying and who is not, and uh, kind of calling different birds for different reasons, um, so that we can kind of combine the two pins. So um, this video will be over a course of several days as I separate and sort through and find out who's laying and who's not. So yesterday, I didn't get it on camera, but yesterday I went through and I found out who all of my males or roosters are. So trying to um, quickly and easily identify males and females and trying to quickly and easily identify who's laying, who's not. Come along with us as we do this little experiment over the next several days and find out who's producing what and who's contributing to what on our farm. So each day I put a uh, some dirt in this little box that has worms and bugs and different things. They love to go in and find that and give themselves a little dust bath. Um, and so you can see, let's find one. So you can see this little guy right here has a blue zip tie around his leg. So that quickly tells me that he is a male or a rooster. Um, I actually found out I had more uh, of the males than I thought, so I'm already enjoying this little experiment because I'm finding out exactly what we have in here. Hope you enjoy. Um, I have only been a quail farmer for about eight weeks now, so I'm still learning and still figuring this whole process out. So I thought this was just would just be something fun for us to kind of do together and see what happens. All right, this little lady laid an egg so it's time for her to get a yellow band good job little woman good job pretty girl all right so a little trick that i've learned go ahead and get these little zip ties started because it's much easier when you have one hand just get it started uh not very big so be ready to stick on their foot and be careful because they will shoot poop out at you <laughs> So just go right, see, some of them are more difficult than others. So I've been doing this a couple days. I haven't caught every one of them on camera because some days it's been in the middle, chores are busy, uh, but it's going well so far. I only have one that's not laying. So I put a black um, zip tie on it for now and I'll give her another chance. Um, I'll show you her in a second, but I don't put it very tight. It easily slips up and down. It just doesn't slip over its foot. And then I switch hands, take these, cut it off flush, make sure you don't get any toes. And then I take her over and put her in the other pin. All right, so down here, somebody hadn't been laying, but I just now got three eggs from three hens. So that tells me all three of them are laying. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a band on all three of their feet, get some more going. So this process is going really well. I'm enjoying it. Um, never done this before. It's probably been done before, but um, just a way for me to tell what we have, who's laying, who's not, and um, get a accurate count on everything. So when I cut this little thing off, I stick it in a pile. That way I'm going to have a have a, a, a good count when I'm finished. Um, so we'll get these other ones some bands on their legs.
just dropped the egg. I like missed it by no time. So she gets a yellow band. Good job, girl. So this is super strange. Yesterday there was no eggs in here. I know I checked. Today there's four and there's only two hens and that one's a male. No eggs yesterday. So does that mean since they didn't lay yesterday, they laid two eggs today? Somebody tell me. Does that make sense? Am I going crazy? All right, so I'm continuing with this banding. It's gone over the past couple weeks. I haven't uh, videoed every single time I do it because you want to watch 45 minutes of it. Um, so I got two in here that have laid. Um, so I know that I need two yellows. So yellow means that they are laying an egg. I got two that's ready, so we're gonna get them out. Rachel's gonna get the eggs. You got the eggs, baby? Yeah, no, I have, I got two of them. Okay, put them up here. Yeah. One more. Got it. Okay, watch out so I can shut it so they don't fly out. All right, so she laid, so I'm going to put a yellow band around her foot, cinch it up. Switch hands. Cut off the excess. Excess, excess. You guys know I'm from Oklahoma and don't talk real good. And then I'll take her over to the big pen. One down. Put it around her foot. Those that kick, you just gotta have You gotta have a little bit more patience with them. And some of them sling this snot stuff on me. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Some of them do it, some of them don't. I don't know if it's like a defense mechanism. You know, let me know what it is. Easy, sister. You're okay, pretty girl. You're all right. I know. So I give them all two days to lay. If they don't lay and they are a hen, they get one of these uh, black, it's kind of sunny, I'm sorry, but they get one of these black zip ties. So what I'm gonna do with those is, um, I'm gonna give them one more chance because it could just have been, I don't know, something weird going on. I'm gonna give them one more chance at the end of all this um, for them to come in the cage uh, by themselves and lay so that I'll know uh, if we need to butcher them or not. Drop, baby. No, baby, they're right here. Okay, so now I know why he didn't lay. Let's, let's put him back in there so I can get a different band. That is actually a boy. So, you can tell by their breast. Um, girls have some speckles, boys don't and they're more um like a golden color i thought he was a boy but i don't just go by the breast i tip them over and as you see um push back um push back their bottoms and if white foam comes out of them then they are a male and i've checked him twice because i thought he looked like a boy no, and it wasn't doing that. So I don't know if he just maybe reached maturity or something. As you guys know, I'm not the quail expert. I'm learning. This is why I'm doing some um, experiments. So when I checked just now, 
the white foam came out. So instead of that red band, he's going to get a blue band so that I know that he's a boy. And he's a very pretty boy. I'm really excited about that. You've been missing your lady friends, haven't you, bub? Huh? So I'm actually going to put him back in here and I'm going to get a few females out to put in here with him because we got too much in that one cage as some of you guys commented on a video in the past. Um, but this is the best way I knew how to kind of even them out, uh, to kind of cull, see who's laying, see who's not, see what's going on. Um, so I'm going to grab a few out of there to put in here so that we won't have quite so many in that big cage. Another beautiful, beautiful bird. Look at that. See, the, the girls have these speckled chests and the boys have more of a bronze chest. Look at that. So Mazzy is out here helping me feed and uh, we've, I've finished up the bending of the quail. Um, Lego. Yeah, it's an old Lego box we use for our feed now. So yellow means they laid an egg. Um, black like this one right here means that it didn't lay an egg. And then blue like that one over there means it's a male. So like I've said, this is our first time uh, doing the quail. And if you've ever tried to count quail, it's nearly impossible. They move around so fast. So the banding helped me to be able to count how many we actually have accurately. And it also helped me find out how many um, hens, how many roosters, how many males, females, however you want to say it. Well, hello there, buddy. So now I have an accurate count, and so I can know how many hens to how many roosters I want to have. And now I know if there was some hens who are not laying an egg. So um, it is butcher time again. We have too many. We don't need that many. Um, so we'll be calling out some of those um, who either aren't laying eggs, some of the males because we don't need that many, and then some of the um, hens that just aren't as pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment. It was uh, a fun little project to do. And um, if you're uh, looking for any of the stuff I used, um, links down below um, and our Amazon store for the uh, zip ties and different things like that. Um, they worked really well, the size. Um, you know, quail have tiny, tiny legs and feet um, and those zip ties uh, worked perfectly. So. All that's down below in our Amazon store. So if you want to check that out, I would assume this would work for chickens and things as well. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so, so much uh, for watching. And we uh, really appreciate you guys. And we'll see you on the next one. God bless. So Cassie showed everybody um, how she's sorting out the quail and how we know which one are going to lay some of these eggs. And if you haven't tried quail eggs, you need to because they are really good. They have a lot of good flavor. Um, I believe it has more yolk than it does a chicken egg does. It's just a higher percentage of yolk, which makes it have really good flavor. So today we're going to go ahead and make some egg sandwiches. Uh, this is something that we used to eat growing up whenever we had a lot of extra eggs. So we're just taking our handy dandy scissors that we got off of Amazon right here. And these are really great for cutting the tops off of these quail eggs because it seems like the quail eggs, they're a little tougher to get um, separated than chicken egg. The, uh, the makeup of the quail egg just seems a little more fragile or something, you get little bitty pieces in there. But if you have these scissors, they're as easy as can be to get separated. So if you're interested in these uh, scissors, if you have quail eggs that you wanna be eating and um, you're dealing with the same issue we were, just check out our Amazon store. Uh, the link is down in the description. 
You can go um, order these, they're relatively cheap. I think it was around five bucks for a couple pair of these scissors. All right, so it is so easy to use these scissors that Ranger wants to show everybody how to do it. Hold it upright so it doesn't feel like you cut it. Like this? Nope. Over the bowl. Almost straight up. Okay, now dump the egg into the bowl. There you go, good job. So these sandwiches are super easy because all we do is get the cracked eggs, put a dash of milk in there, stir this up and add salt and pepper. Um, the only other thing that I add is, is mayonnaise at the end um, to mix with the eggs and sometimes a little cayenne pepper on top. All right, so we've got the eggs all mashed up. We had about a tablespoon, maybe one and a half tablespoons of mayo to the eggs, salt, pepper. And then for me, since I like it a little bit spicy, I put a little dash of cayenne pepper, not a lot, on top of the end. So these are farm fresh eggs, um, mostly quail eggs. I think we have one chicken egg we put in there. We've got some ripe tomatoes and some pickles that we can. So our lunch today, except for the bread, is all farm fresh, straight from the farm.